hi guys so based on the title of this video you can see that my surgery is coming up it's next month i am very excited very nervous um a bit trying to be very positive about this because this is exciting i'm finally going to be able to get my lipo my bbl and my breast augmentation so i am excited as you can tell so just wanted to hop on and tell you guys how i'm prepping because I think I have like 39 days, some in the, maybe late 30s, and my surgery is coming up. So there is a lot that goes on to prepping your body. So I'm going to go through some information that Dr. Pantoja emailed me when I booked um, my surgery. So obviously you got to take vitamins. Um, he does include in the email that you should take iron pills. So I started taking that three months, three months before surgery, just so that my hemoglobin would be up. I did email him to know the range of how, like what's normal, what's safe, you know, what's a good level for your hemoglobin to be. And he said from 12 to 15. Now that is for somebody who's doing lipo, BBL and breast augmentation breast augmentation so I don't know if that would apply for somebody who's having a tummy tuck but the average would be 12 to 15 biggest thing that reason why I don't want to have a lower level like a 12 is because I do not want to end up with a blood transfusion that is scary I rather just reschedule it would suck but I'm working hard on boosting my hemo levels so I take iron pills and I take blood builders uh, just so my hemo can be up I'm also all right, sorry cut off uh, I'm also taking fish oil vitamins along with the iron pills um, vitamin C because um, the vitamin C helps absorb uh, the iron pills and then I take vitamin D in the evening because I've heard that it tends to um, not help you absorb all the vitamins so I just take that in the evening just to be on the safe side. I have also been cutting down on coffee. I do not take my coffee at the same time that I take my iron pills, my vitamin C, and the fish oil pills do not do that uh, because the coffee gets it affects the absorption of your vitamins so i wait 30 minutes max to be honest just because i really need my coffee 30 minutes is pretty safe just to do that um in the beginning i did not know this and i was actually drinking coffee with the pills um so that's just a suggestion to do that just to be on the safe side i am planning to do blood work here in the states just to see where my hemo levels are because i would not want to reschedule but that is a possibility because i don't want to do a blood transfusion and blood transfusions are an additional cost which is like 500 dollars. so i don't want to spend 500 dollars, and i don't want to risk you know having to go through that um let's see and then the next thing um that he points out is not to take any herbal drinks so you know arnica tea for example you should stop two weeks prior to surgery and stop taking any other medication so i'm actually going to stop on my vitamins two weeks prior on my vitamins but continue with the iron pills he still wants you to take the iron pills one day before surgery so two weeks before surgery no tea no medications specifically aspirin if you need it just call your doctor and see if you can take something else but do not take any medications two weeks prior to your surgery um but continue with your iron pills hopefully making sense uh, iron you can't stop taking it because you need your hemo to go up uh, so that's what i'm doing another thing that he says is no smoking so no smoking three weeks prior to your surgery and four weeks after you will lose your butt and there's also other complications but you will lose your butt i've heard of girls that kept going and they're fine but honestly you're spending all this money if you can please avoid drinking sorry avoid smoking it really is for the best all right sorry i had to change the scene uh, my little girl woke up so uh, yes surgery is coming up i'm very excited i've already started buying my supplies i should have bought it you know 
probably right around the same time that I should take my vitamins. That would have been the smart way, uh, but there's been a few things that are kind of up in the air. Um, I will make a video about that later. So I already have some things coming tomorrow from Amazon and I'm being very budget friendly because I don't want to buy a fancy you know booty pillow when I can spend money and focus on like my lymphatic massages which are very very important for you to have if you're getting lipo so I'd rather put my money there I will also be making a video showing you know the things that I've bought already so you know stick around please subscribe like this video and feel free to um, Add me on Instagram and ask me any questions you like. Thanks.